Hey guys, I'm Morris here. Welcome back to the new video. So I'm back with another graphics mod video for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So do you want to know how to install and how to use this mod? Please make sure to watch this video till end. And the gameplay you're seeing right now and it's 100% real and it's not fake. So this graphics mod is really amazing. And as compared to my other mods, this graphics mod is highly optimized for low end PC. So do you want to know how to install and how to use this graphics mod into your low end PC? Please make sure to watch this video till end. So talking about our specification required to play this mod smoothly on your PC. Well, you need at least 2GB of RAM, any dual core processor and 1GB of dedicated graphics card. Well, if you don't have dedicated graphics card, don't worry about it. I guess Intel HD will do a pretty good job for you. So that's all the specification of this mod. In order to play this mod into 20 to 30 FPS on very low settings. And I will show you what type of resolution you should keep in order to get better frame rates. Also, let's talk about the recommended specs in order to play this mod. Well, if you really want to enjoy this graphics mod into very high settings and you don't want to compromise with resolution, you should have at least 8GB of RAM, any quad core processor and 2GB of dedicated graphics card. Well, if you have this type of system requirements, then you can easily play this graphics mod into 60 fps so yeah enough talking we should move to our installation video so without any further ado let's get started to the video guys but before we get started please make sure to leave a like on this video share this video to as much you can and if you are new then what you're doing you have to subscribe to this channel because we make daily awesome contents so yeah without any further ado let's get started to the video guys all right my friends so as you can see we are in our desktop screen and first thing you will need this file make sure to check description for more information and second thing, make sure to extract that file. Once your file has been extracted, then simply open your game directory. Now, once your game directory has been opened, then open your MGL and then select this all file. Then just drag and drop all of these files into your game directory and then hit on replace if it has. Okay, now go back and then we have successfully installed our mod into a game directory. Now, all you need to do is just run your enb.exe. If you don't know how to get the enb.exe, then all you need to do is just download my optional 2.0 folder and then you're all done. Now run enb.exe and then see the magic. Alright my friends, so as you can see we are in our game and then first of all what you need to do is go to your display settings and then go to your advanced tab. And then here's the setting all you need to do is, if you have a very low end PC then set the draw distance to something like 0 and then set the visual effects quality to low and then these are the optional steps you know. And then this is the main factor you know, if you have very low end PC then all you need to do is just select this resolution 640 by 480 right this is the best resolution for you now once you have satisfied with your resolution then all you need to do is just run your game right now choose load game a new game which will be like Alright my friends, so as you can see we are in our game and our game looks too awesome, isn't it? But uh, we can't clarify right now. Let's go outside and see. Alright my friends, so as you can see we are in our game and our game looks too awesome, isn't it? 
but uh, our mod isn't enabled right now so all you need to do is just click on use effect and then as you can see our mod has been successfully applied and it's looking to awesome now if you don't want to use the depth of field then simply just disable depth of field from the setup menu and then you're all done now click on save configuration and then you're all done so thank you so much for watching till end guys i hope you all enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video then you know what you need to do is leave a like on this video share this video to as much you can so yeah as always i'll see you into the next one till then goodbye